Good afternoon. Uh, welcome to day five of our cruise. Uh, today we are in Helsingborg in Sweden, um, which is on the uh, south coast of Sweden. Um, we've actually got the Sweden on this side, and then the Danish town of. Just bear with me. Sorry about that, I thought I'd look it up, because basically there's only like three three kilometres, or four kilometres, sorry, in between um, Helsingborg and the Danish town on the other side. And there's a bit of a rivalry between the two, apparently. Um, do -be -do, baby, do -be -do. Mm, can't click my fingers, I noticed. I haven't been able to click it, but it's probably good because I won't get arthritis in my fingers at least. Um, you know, I can't find it now, that's ridiculous, isn't it? It's a name similar to Helsingborg. Um, shouldn't really start recording, should I really? Um, with a, without double checking that first. I never wanted to mention it. It was the Cullen Peninsula, that's where I've been today. Um, ridiculous, though, I, I read that this morning and now I can't find it at all. That's crazy. Anyway, we'll forget that, but anyway. So yeah, we've got Sweden here, four kilometres across the sea. I can see out the window, I can see Denmark, Danish town over there, which is... Uh, <laughs> I can't remember the name of Anyway, today we went on a coach trip. Um, Myself and Joe. There's uh, Joe. If you can see him, he's he's uh, just uh, on a bit of chill at the moment. Yeah, this is a uh, coach trip today. Um, went round the uh, Swedish uh, coast, like the countryside. Um, first, you know, because Helsingborg's quite a small port, the ferries actually have to stop. They call it tender. It's all in the sea, and then they ship you. Well, they herd you onto lifeboats and, and take you to the shore. Um, there we were greeted by staff dressed as Vikings, which was uh, a, a bit embarrassing, really. Um, uh, they wanted to take your photo when you came on shore. And, well, one of them, he was dressed as a Viking, but he had an Australian accent, so that uh, yeah, wasn't great. Um, and then, yeah, we went on a coast trip, the Swedish coast, uh, where we saw a national park. Um, we, in there is the, mo the Cullen Lighthouse, which is the most powerful lighthouse in Sweden. Um, we saw a 12th century church with an uh, inside 12th century church with some like 14th century uh, paintings on the ceiling and 14th century pulpit. It was a lovely church, sort of all whitewashed on the outside. Uh, we went to an old cafe which is about sort of 70 years old and makes its own pastries there. They were fantastic pastries, very nice. Tea and coffee, it was all included in the tour, you know, it was lovely. We sat on a table with a couple from Bermuda who um, were quite snobby really. Um, I'll say no more about that. Um, and on the way back we went past Henry Larson's house. For those of you who don't know Henry Larson is a legendary footballer, played for Celtic, Barcelona, Man United and he actually has a house just outside Helsingborg. Um, but you couldn't really see his house, it was like a mansion more, but it was in all sort of walled in and white and lots of trees covering it so you couldn't see it very well. Big gates on the front so you couldn't really just walk up to his house and knock on his door, not that kind of place, but then um, the sort of money he's earned, then I suppose that's uh, that's fair enough. And tomorrow we'll go to Oslo, which I'm quite excited about, but our tour is at 8.15 in the morning, which means we'll have to uh, meet up before and about 7.45, so that's, uh, that is a bit early for me. Um, <laughs> so the point is we'll have to have breakfast in the room which you can do, get breakfast delivered to your room. Um, we've done that last couple of days actually, it's quite good, it's quite good. It says you're having a fry up as well, so you're not eating all the greasy food every day. But we will do that another day, but yeah, so, so yeah, it's, it's quite quite an early start tomorrow. I'm quite tired this afternoon to be honest, yeah, it was a, 
We have breakfast in the room and you come, they always, I say eight, 8 to half 8 and they always come at 7.45, knock on the door and wake me up and I have to get up and <laughs> sort the breakfast out. Uh, so, it's a lot really, yeah. Say hello, Joe. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Say hello to everyone back home. You know what it is, yeah? Have you had a good day today? You enjoyed the trip? Yeah. Enjoyed the trip, yeah? yeah. Good trip, wasn't it? Yeah. Putting the boat into Helsingborg. Yeah. Sweden. Yeah, so they say tomorrow, uh, Norway and Oslo, which everyone says is the most expensive place they've ever been. Eight pound a beer, apparently. Five for a can of Coke. Um, but we'll be on a tour, and then they'll take us on the tour, and then we'll come back to the uh, the boats. And normally there's drinks and things included on the price of the, uh, the tour. So, yeah, that should be good. And this evening, I don't really know what's on this evening. Um, there's... Last night I saw Slumdog Millionaire, actually. I went to see it, I did, and uh, I really enjoyed Slumdog Millionaire. Yeah, it's, um, yeah, I really, I, I, was, I was surprised, actually. I wasn't always sure so I'd like it, but I did like it. You yeah. felt a bit, a bit emotional at the end. Yeah, emotional. You know, someone in the audience said, I bet you get hit by a train. <laughs> I thought, oh, what's that? That's not a, not a happy ending. And sorry if I've kind of ruined that for anyone. He doesn't get it by a train, um, <laughs> and it's quite a happy ending. Um, yeah, so uh, Valkyrie's on this afternoon with Tom Cruise, but I've missed that. But it's probably going to be repeated later, um, and there's other films, mainly family films. But there's the odd good one. There's the odd good one. Um, so there's bound to be something like that on tonight, and some shows and that kind of thing, music. So plenty to keep us entertained. And uh, tomorrow night is formal night, so that's when we've got. Uh, you know, gonna have finally put our tuxes on and go um, dressed up like James Bond. You know, ask for a martini and you know, all that cheesy business, um, and just generally uh, walk around looking smart and go for dinner in a really posh restaurant. And we had wine tasting there the other day, and that it was very posh there. It was very posh. You know, all your different wine glasses, all your different cutlery, canapes, I probably mentioned them the other day, with like caviar on and all that kind of thing, so, um, I'm not quite sure I'm going to make it, it's all, uh, all very posh. And they push your chair in for you, you know, they pull your chair out and you sit down, they push your chair in for you, but I think that's taken a bit far, I'd like just to, you know, be able to sit down myself, I can pull my own chair in really. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, there was something else he did as well. I can't quite remember, but I, I thought it was a bit, it was a bit unnecessary, taking it a bit too far. Yeah. Anyway, um, I hope everyone's well. Anyway, I'm just some kind of rambling this afternoon. Um, so yeah, love to all. An answer to your question, how he had me. It's a seven-night cruise. So that's eight days. I had these my niece, for anyone who doesn't know that. Um, eight. So it's Saturday to Saturday. So we're back on Saturday. The boat arrived at seven in the morning on Saturday. But I'm not sure what time our coach is. But uh, yeah, let's not think about that yet anyway. We've got a few days to go. So, okay, it's ta for now, uh, you lovely people. And I shall uh, speak to you soon. Ta ra. Yeah.